Breaking news. Police deployed to guide Fulani settlements in Imo State. Did you hear that? Heavy number of police, armed policemen have been deployed to go and guide Fulani settlements in Imo State. Did you hear that? Just to reiterate, a few days ago, about over a week now, in Eboin State, people were in their homes, in the villages, relaxing for the evening. All of a sudden, unknown number of Fulani headsmen. By the way, the government, the government said they know them, but it was clear that they were Fulani headsmen. Came and killed over 15 people. Do you know up until now, as we speak, nothing has been done to that effect? Nobody has been apprehended. Investi nobody has been caught, not a single person. Even though they said they, lived, they left a lot of traces and the rest, nothing has been done in that regard. Do you know that the governor Orotom, uh, of uh, uh, Samuel Orotom was almost assassinated, a governor democratically elected? And do you know from the middle belt, nothing has been done. Up until now, not a single person has been apprehended to say, who are these people? Why are you after the governor's life? Nobody has been held responsible for that. Although Fulani came out and claimed responsibility that they were the ones responsible for that attack on the government, on the governor. Now, in Imo State, what is going on? What the government decided to do, the federal government, is to send, deploy heavy presence of police, military personnel to go and guide Fulani settlement in Imo. Let's get all the details. Police deployed to guide Hausa settlement in Imo State. Security operatives have been deployed to Imo to guide Hausa settlement in the state. Deployment of police personnel to Imo State, reported by Sahar reporters. The government said it's as a result of the widespread attack on some northerners in the southeast. It was reported that seven northern traders were killed in Imo State, Olu Town, and other villages around. So, Nigerian government decided to send heavy armed policemen to go guide the settlement to prevent further attacks on people so as to prevent any form of reciprocation from other regions, which may lead to unrest and civil in responsibility in the society. Adequate security has been provided to provide protect the Fulani headsmen in Imo State. All Fulani headsmen has been asked to come under this shelter to prevent further attack on their lives. But every other Nigerian do not need protection. In case you are from any other region, okay, you are not Hausa, you're not Fulani. I'm sorry to say that um, you missed this slot. You don't have a place in this matter, okay? And uh, you're not one of those who qualifies to be protected by the Nigerian police. In case you are from any other region, you're on your own, okay? Just to put it out there, you're really on your own. So, this is what is going on. People were in their houses, like I earlier reiterated, relaxing, enjoying themselves, having a good time with the family, all of a sudden. People came and started killing them in a boy state. Oh. Nothing has been done. I repeat, the only thing we heard them say is we condemn the attack and uh, we're going to make sure that whoever the perpetrators are are brought to justice. We don't know who the perpetrators are. We don't know who is bringing who to justice. We don't know anything about this matter, but it's just there hanging somewhere in the airspace region, floating. We don't know, you know, a lot of atrocities and perpetration of evil has been going on. Do you know that Fulani headsmen, if they are apprehended committing any crime or evil, as soon as you give them to police, they are the ones making a boast at you saying, uh, you are wasting your time. You are really wasting your time. Well, I will be out before you know it. I will be out and about before you could say Jack Robinson. And guess what? They are not my saying what they are not playing with you. We've had in, in situations where in the barracks they will go, you know, fight with the people and bring, you know, uh, try to restore peace to the country. Before they get to the barrack, some chiefs, some whatever has called, hey, 
Maudu, you're the one in charge of a Division 44. Okay. He said some boys were apprehended. Release them to me. Release them. And that's it. No question asked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's it. They go back and they continue. Then you say other people, I'm not saying people, pre, cr cr criminals being in prison for what they have done to keep our society safe, that is wrong. No, 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 it's not wrong. It's very good. Uh, in fact, those people, people, there are some people, you know, because of what they do, cannot really stay among people because of their kind of mindset, the way they are. However, you want other people to be punished for their crime. Why you yourself, you go scot-free? How is that? How is that fair? In what book of fairness is that? In what book of fairness is that? So you can understand that this is not right, that there is something really, really wrong. Something is really, really wrong somewhere. And it is happening again and again and again. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Is it that the system does not work? Or somebody somewhere is doing, you know, is committing this evil and this is not acceptable. So where do we go from here? When we have a government who do not care about their people, we have a government who, you know, they do as they please. They do their own bid. They do their own thing. How do you explain that? You see, this is why the country is in the state where it is today. We must all rise up and say no to perpetration of evil and to evil that is going on in our economy and in our government. It is high time that Nigerians rise up and say enough is enough enough is enough we're not going to allow this to happen enough is enough you know full and settlement are protected there's no problem with that it's okay they should be protected if there is possibility of arm coming arms coming their way however what about other people who's going to protect them we've not heard that um you know a large number of police on it have been deployed you know to 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 protect people where there have been security bridges. But when it comes to this, there is protection for them. That is the inequality we are talking about in Nigeria. We are the most people who, you know, we carry inequality on our very own self. We cannot continue to, 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 to live like that. We can't. We can't continue to live like that. There must be difference. That's why Nigerians can see and say this is not right. Leave us a comment. Let's hear your thoughts with what is going on. God bless you. Have a good day. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Uh, bye for now.